I believe Shyla is here. She is here. All right, yes. so let's set this She's up for Shyla. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? We're so doing good. Okay, so here's the thing. Mike has been putting coffee all over his body because according to a new because <laughs> according to a new study, a cup of coffee is all you need to attract the women that you want to meet. That's so true. That is bizarre. That is disgusting. Oh my god, I'm getting it all over me. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna think I'm bizarre, but I love I love the smell of coffee. So this study, this research they did makes complete Doesn't sense. Doesn't it just to me. mean that if he smells like coffee, he must drink a lot of coffee. Well, you know, I mean, that's fine, too. Do you, but I love, Your like, face is dripping. It's, <laughs> it's actually repulsive. Coffee was number two on the list. Number one was aftershave. But coffee came up twice on this list. It came, well, it was number one aftershave. Number two, freshly brewed coffee. Okay. Number three, just a natural smell of a man. They're pheromones. Well, now, what's the study? It's It smells emitting from a man that turn women off. Yes. So what, what attracts them to the man the most? Okay. And it was from women who were either coffee drinkers or non-coffee drinkers. It didn't matter. Interesting. And uh, instant coffee was number five on the list. They instant two, coffee. I, you know what's funny, too? Over Christmas break, okay. I had bought a cologne for a cousin who was visiting. And okay. he really wanted something that was, I'm going to mispronounce this, but it's called Thierry Mouglet. Okay. And it's amazing. So last night before I'm coming on the show, I'm looking up colognes who have this active ingredient. That was the number one cologne that came up that had the active ingredient. And it What's the active ingredient? Oh, it had coffee. It had other things, too. No way. But coffee was like the staple ingredient in this guy's cologne. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, this is why I love this, at least for me. I, I love wonder that what's cologne. the scent. Is it just like a... Beanie. It's not coffee. Beanie. Beanie. It's so subtle that I think it's almost subliminal. Let me smell your face. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, now this is why I keep instant coffee packets in but my pants. In your pants. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because it's like I get it. You're yeah. just irresistible. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that's very. Is, is that all of my soft honey? Is that? Well, now honey's not in there, but it's what do we got? Fresh linen. Honey? Number four is fresh linen. Oh. Linen. Fresh linen. Now that smell I like. You like that? Annika? Candles and any of those like fresh, freshly really? laundered things. I have uh, linen underwear on right now. <laughs> yeah. Does it smell like? It smells like coffee. <laughs> uh, I have a question for you. Yes. You just came to this out of my head here. You know, a lot of people watching the show today have rel well. You have your kids in town, right, from they came back from college or, you know, from around the country, and they're still sitting in your house, right? Yes. Probably going to be here through the weekend. Want so kill yourself? did your daughter bring her boyfriend? Did your son bring her uh, his girlfriend? Did your daughter, she's here, did she bring her boyfriend? Yes. Did she? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, oh, this is great. Brandon is here. <gasps> He's I probably watching. It. That's why you've been so nice, so I can't talk about him this morning. Now, I like him. Sure, he's watching this morning. But let me ask you, yeah. would you have rather her come by herself? Because you've already met him before, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know him. Okay, so you already know. Would you rather her come by yourself so you could just spend time with her? Because now you got to change yourself. Mm. You got You can't be as comfortable as you want to in your own home because you got a new person. Well, what are the surveys saying out there that you read all the time? All right, well, I, it's kind of split, but what they said was you got to look for four things. Okay. To uh, determine whether or not it's a good idea to bring them home for the holidays. Okay. Okay, number one is if you know your parents are not going to like this, person or if they already casually met and they already gave you those subtle hints oh, yeah. we don't like him don't bring them home mm. don't try to force them upon okay. your family okay. and if your boyfriend doesn't like them another reason not but to bring them people over. will say you just don't know him well enough why don't we spend a week with him and you'll get to love him see <laughs> I, I agree with that. I don't want to put my parents in an uncomfortable situation. That's like, very interesting. That's, I don't, like my boyfriend, uh, I didn't invite them home for the holidays. My parents are so tough on everybody. Well, and, and some parents are very strict, for example, and not to get all in your business, but are they allowed to be in the same area oh, when they go to sleep? Mike. The same area. Yes, they, they, they're in my they, apartment. Also, does one have to be in one room and one in another? You don't let them sleep in the same bed. Oh, you do? You know, I went to bed early. I don't know oh, what the sleeping arrangement no. is. Oh, no. I told Mike, even if you, like now, if you go they to my grandmother's house yeah. and you take your girlfriend, you're in one part yeah. of the house. That's the way it was at my mom's oh, house. Absolutely. That's the way it should be, in my opinion. I think it's a disrespect to sleep Do you call in disrespect the same bed. Because clearly they're sleeping <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if it was back in their childhood home. Like, I don't want her shoving the stuffed animals off her bed. So right now, are they, are they in your room watching no, Good Day? What are they doing? They're probably watching the show. <laughs> From your room? 
No, there. I have two bedrooms. Are they in the guest bedroom? <clears throat> I'm sure he was on the couch all night. He was not on the. He snuck in at three in the morning. We all know this. But Mike doesn't mind. You don't mind. Well, this, they've known each other four years for goodness' doesn't sake. Matter. Doesn't matter. You gotta matter. lay the wall. Have we out. changed the topic? We've changed Let's the topic. Move on. We are changing. Well, can I let me get to number two? Okay, number two. I fit all. All right. Uh, if they're too this 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 person saying if they're too shy. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have them oh, come over. Especially if your family's all bold. And well, this funny thing, I just talked to my best friend who had the fiance come over for, you know, their, yeah. their Christmas party. Is he dull? He's not dull. His family is just very, pass the potatoes, please. Okay. Please, and thank you. Like, ah! And her family's big, large Italian mm. family. Everybody's in each other's food, drinking each other's wine, blah, like an Indian family. That's, That's another reason I don't yeah. like people over because my family's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Are they? Yeah, if you don't understand the culture, it can be a little embarrassing. Which you know? spectrum I'm is it? Is it the guy quiet home one? Or... They don't get it. <laughs> they don't. Is it the, which which side of the spectrum are you? Are, is your family very? Oh, I'm the loud. Oh, oh okay. no, we're not passing potatoes. Oh, you're not. No, God. Well, people, look at her. People Jeez. are walking around in their boxers in front of guests. Oh, that's lovely. Well, that's parents, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> my parents love to scream at each other. Ah. Yeah, it's you know. I think that would be fun. I think I'd rather go into that it's environment. It's not entertaining. No, it's really not. But as a parent, should you say something to the kid? You know, we'd rather have just have you here. My mother does. Oh, really? I remember when I was blunt, dating blunt. my now husband, my now in-law, she pulled over. I, I'll Hold never over. forget it. What do you mean? We were driving from Evanston on the college campus. I think, I don't know, we were going to her house or what have you. But she pulled over to just let me know how great her son was. Like, pulled over. I was like, wow. oh, God, we're pulled over. Just the two of you? He was in the car. I think, was that in the car? I don't remember. What do you What do you want? Like if you in have my mind, I was like, oh my goodness. Oh, treat you my have son well. And now it's fa of course fantastic. But you have but small kids. Now when they get older, are you going to be more welcoming? I are want you... them to tell me. I want them to talk to me. Like I said, I, if somebody's horrible, oh, what will I do? Well, I, I've hidden girlfriends for years from my parents. Oh, me too? really? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, and you know what too is like I don't know what kind of parents you have, but my mom isn't. She's nice, but you could you could tell that she's not really a fan. Mm. I'd like to meet your parents. Would sometime. you love to? Yes. My mother would love I would you. Love Come that. over, eat some Indian food. I'll pour some coffee on myself and be right over. Good We're to see you, Shadow. Hey, thank you guys. Yeah, they, can they just come here? Yeah, uh, have a little feast. They're up north, aren't they? They are. They're in bit. Scranton. Oh, okay. Scranton. 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 Hey, coming up, Chester County SPCA. Oh, they're having their big New Year's adoption special.